The first thing you're going to need to connect to an SSH host is a client. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. You can do it in Windows or you can get a third party client. To get it on Windows, you simply need to go to apps on your settings, optional features, and then you can search SSH in here. It should be installed by default, but if it's not, then you can do add a feature and search for SSH in here. But as I've already got it, it won't show up. Alternatively, you could use a third party client such as Putty. Just be wary though, because there are a few scam links for Putty. So what I like to do is click on their Wikipedia page and click on the website through there and you can get the latest download. The next thing you're going to need is your details to the host you're connecting to. So I'm going to open up my notepad file here and I've got an IP address, a username and a password for some hosts that I'm going to try connect to. So next I'm going to open up Putty and connect to one of my devices. This is the window you should see by default, so just go ahead and enter the IP address and hit enter. Enter the login name and the password. And that's it. A reason why you might want to use the SSH client built into Windows is because you can access it through command prompt. To connect to a device you have to enter the details in a slightly different way though. Like so, SSH space username at IP address. Enter and then your password. And that's it, you're in. Again, here are some of the details that you might want to make a note of when you need to connect to a device. 